A 12-year-old boy named Samuel Marin Walsh was playing with his friend named Emma Road and was playing build a boat with her. They were both trying to do a glitch where they become invincible and can go over to get all the gold. When they did it, Emma's game had crashed but then she quickly went back to the private server, but no one was there. She noticed that Samuel was still online in the server. She tried to find him but when she found him, he was just standing there. In the chat she said, are you there? Then Samuel left. She turned around and saw a tall black figure on the border, then it teleported away. She looked at the server board but nothing was there. She decided to call Samuel if something happened. He didn't answer. When she looked back at her computer she seen the monster just look at her with blank eyes. The paranoia is starting to take over here. She went downstairs to her parents and they were there. She says, Mama. Daddy. I'm scared of this game and playing. Her parents anger at her. Hello? Emma says. But then her dad slowly looks at her dead in the eye. And gets up and goes to the kitchen and pulls put a knife. She runs to the basement and locks the door. She looks back to see her phone but then the monster is gone. She looks up slowly and sees the shadow figure. It fades away. Her hallucinations keep surrounding her. She looks at a notification on her phone and it says. Boy in Florida named Samuel Marin Walsh found dead in bathroom. She was feeling too scared. Her dad was banging at the door but then the banging stopped. She opened the door and sees her dad watching TV her dad says, hey there glad you came down. With a smiling friendly face. Daddy. She says crying. I'm scared, I seen a black figure in the basement. Her mom says, that's fine. It's okay hun. She felt safe. They went to a therapist about hallucinations and Samuel Marin Walsh was mysteriously dead. No one knows. She doesn't know that there is something in black that's stalking her. After the few weeks of her overcoming her hallucinations, Emma was on the bus going to school, she looks at her phone and sees, child reported missing named Jordan Locks, she seen a few more missing posters around the town she lived in. She really wanted to know why all of this was happening. When she got to school she tried to sneak out of it, when she did she went to the nearby forest since the police didn't check there. She was walking around and found this cabin. She found a sharp rock and stick just in case. She went inside the cabin and looked around. She found nothing, but a few minutes later she sees a computer and someone in black was playing on it. She says, who are you? It didn't reply. Suddenly the person stands up and looks at her. Suddenly the person lunges at her but she dodges it. She looks at the computer and notices that it was the one haunting Baft. While it had a tab opened where he can dox and find locations. It suddenly grabs her arm and rips it off. Emma with her sharp stick stabs it multiple times and runs out of there. She got out of the forest and people saw her with no arm, they called 911 and she was hospitalized. The person is dead. Baft is not haunted and no more missing child reports. The town is back to normal.